Let's now turn to the lingering strike by the Academic Staff Union of uni Universities. There is still no end in sight to the six months old strike by teachers in government owned universities. At the end of his National Executive Council meeting in Abuja on Monday, the Academic Staff Union of Universities failed to issue a statement on his resolution. But a member of the union's NEC confirmed that the strike is now indefinite. Several calls and text messages put across to the president of ASU, Emmanuel Osodeke, and other union leaders were not responded to. ASU began a nationwide strike on the 14th of February this year. The union has rolled over the strike a couple of times before the latest indefinite extension of the industrial action. Government's no-work, no-pay policy and its non-acceptance of the union's university transparency accounting system, as UTAS, for payment of salaries are two of the basic grievances of the university teachers. We are staying on our coverage of the lingering strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities. The President, um, National Association of Nigerian Students, Sonde Ashefo, um, joins me to discuss this latest development. Good to have you join us. Thank you so much. What's your thought on, on, on the latest um, move by ASU to extend the strike indefinitely? Uh, there, were, there, there was hope in, in many quarters after you know, the dialogue between ASU and the federal government that perhaps um, there was solution and an end in sight to the um, uh, lingering ASU strike. But talk to us about um, what's your, later, your thoughts on this latest development. Uh, first and foremost, let me appreciate you for bringing me here at this crucial hour. I listened to you very well that uh, after the report of the NEC meeting of ASU, we said all efforts to reach out to the leadership of ASU were proved abortive. Uh, let me say it again here that as a president of NANS, who is representing the interests of Nigerian students, myself, my ESCOs, we have, been able, we have been trying to reach out to ASU leadership since 9th of March. And as I speak to you today, I've uh, passed through different leaders. I've met vice chancellors who called the leadership of ASU, particularly the president of ASU, to give, our, an, to give us an audience to discuss with them. I've called myself, I've called Dr. Ashiru, from, which is the chairman of ASU from Unilag. The important why we want to meet with the leadership of ASU. That is, by the way, it shows that ASU does not even, you know, uh, see us as an important stakeholders in this struggle. Despite the fact all our efforts to support this struggle from the beginning of this strike. We have been on this strike and we have been on this struggle. We have done everything possible within us to support this agitation from this demand from ASU because we believe some of those demand, some of them are reasonable. But at this junction, it seems the leadership of ASU are not being considered. At this junction, it seems the leadership of ASU is selfish, and as such, they are wicked. Wicked in the sense that if ASU leadership do not think there is, there is need for us to go back to class, if ASU leadership does not think that there is need for them to have a flexible art at this particular time. It is so bad. I've listened to the leadership of, particularly the president of ASU, for, 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 for the past five or six days now. I've heard a lot of comments from him, which I don't think it should come out from an erudite professor who happened to be a leadership of ASU. I've heard him saying some university are quack because, which it is true, what is the purpose, what is the reason why some state universities are joining the strike? 
State University has nothing to gain by joining this strike. I'm stand to be corrected. Um, sorry, can I'm you hear me? Just, just a I'm minute. I just like want to ask you. I've engaged in my university. Let's, let's look at where the federal government and ASU are at the moment. There is an issue of no work, no pay. ASU has said that the government has to pay the six months before they can go, go, to go back to class. Um, and then there is also the issue of the UTAS, uh, and I, government is probably not seeing eye to eye on the UTAS. How do you think that ASU should have handled um, such, a, such a situation, and where should ASU have considered and compromised? Thank you so much. You, if you look at this, the, these two things you have said, and uh, if you look at the stance of ASU, it shows ASU uh, interest is so parochial. ASU interest is so parochial in the sense that the issue of UTAS and IPPS should not be an elastic for us to be at home at this moment. The issue of UTAS and IPPS. That is the story from the ASU. But the story that we had, that we have in our own disposal, the last week, Wednesday, that I met with the ES Executive Secretary of NUC, he told me categorically that the issue of IPPS and UTAS has been resolved. We tried to reach out to the leadership of ASU. They did not pick our call, neither they are not, they are not ready to meet us. On the issue of their salary, the Article 43, of trade union disputes is there for anybody to go and check. So if ASU are now saying that if their salary of six months is not being paid, they will not go back to work automatically, like I have said, ASU is not putting into consideration the interest of Nigerian students. And if we look at the demand of ASU so far, ASU has masqueraded their own interest into the, in, into the interest of the tertiary education. The majority of what they are demanding for today, it is not for the, the, only, the, only, the only thing there that is our interest that concerns Nigerian students is the vitalization of our institution across board. Anything after, the others are for the interest and the welfare of the members of ASU. We are not saying they should not agitate for the welfare of their members, but not at the detriment or holding the entire Nigeria into a ransom. There is need for our parents, there is need for the students to be calling out their lecturers. To let us that, that they need to return back to class. So if the federal government is saying no work, no no pay, what I was expecting as you to go back to to go back to the drawing table, call up the strike and let and, and find another means of of rene, renegotiate their, their 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 salary. Other union, they like Nasu, Sanu, and Nat, who also who also are back on strike. They talk to them on. They talk to them. I'm sure. If they talk between them and federal government who are not reasonable, they will not call up the strike. And I commended the leadership of Nasu, Sanu, and Nat for calling off the, the strike because we have denied a lot of things. Even people, some students who have graduated who want to do, uh, who want to get their, their results or who want to get their transcript, they could not get that. But now I think they can get that. But so nothing stop our lecturer at this moment. If their if their salary, we are not saying the federal government should not pay their salary, but that, that is an issue between the employee and employer. We cannot we, we cannot we cannot intervene on that matter. But like I have said, the trade the 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 the, 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 the trade union act is there to solve that problem. But also should find another means of agitating for the welfare of their members. They should not put the interest the interest of the student. They should not they should not jeopardize it at any, at any time. Now, if I may ask. Who is going to pay for, Niger for, for what we have lost so far? What Nigerian student has lost so far, who is going to pay for it? We pay for accommodation for over six months we are not in that house. Most of, uh, most of Nigerian students who are doing small, small business within the campus, to send themselves to school, those business now has run, you know, you know, you know uh, uh, not, nothing to write home about it. Are you getting me? They have run to lost. We have a lot of drivers. We did the capital environment that it is what they are taking, what they are getting, that they are using to, to, to finance their family, to take care of their family and to send their children to school. Those things have been stopped. ASU is not looking at, 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 at those things. Like some people have said, yes, it's because the majority of the members of ASU have one of two things that they are doing, apart from you know, lecturing in other schools. If not, if not, if not, if it is the reason why we join this, we join this struggle, it's because of the revitalization of our university system. And if 
Those things has been at, 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 at the IGA now. At least 85% of those things has been met with. We see no reason why ASU need to come out. You know, they should not come, they should, ASU should not well, go well, to... We will continue to monitor, Sonia um, um, Shekho. I, I know that this is also very... Especially for the Nigerian students. Um, ASU continues to say that it will make up um, all of those lectures, but one wonders how... Um, it will turn out, especially for the kind of students who are churning out from the universities. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, National President, National Association of Nigerian Students, Sunday Ashefo.